Hello, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and today we're solving Don't Come Around Here No More by Philip Newman. This is a ratio pair Sudoku. So we have normal Sudoku rules, replacing the digits 1 through 9, once each in each row, each column, and each outline 3 by 3 region. And in addition to that, we have some black dots in the grid, and black dots indicate the two digits on either side of them are in a 1 to 2 ratio. Or in other words, one of them is twice as big as the other. And that is it. So we're going to start with finishing off this column with a 9 and this column with a 1. And then if we focus in on some of our black dots, the only digit that's in a 1 to 2 ratio with 8 is 4. And then we have to go from 4 to 2. Now 2 either goes to 1 or 4, but there's a 1 in the row, so that's going to be a 4 there and an 8 right here. 4 has to go to either 2 or 8, so I'm going to pencil those in. 6 will always go to 3, and there's going to be a 6 in one of those cells somewhere. This is kind of interesting because I need to use either 1 and 2, which is not possible because of the 1 here. 2 and 4 potentially could go there. 4 and 8, which isn't going to work because there's an 8 in the row. Or 3 and 6, which would have to orient that way. Right here, I can't use the 3, so we can't be doing 3 and 6, so we have to do some combination of 1, 2, 4, and 8. 2, 4, and 8 are already taken up in this region, so that's going to be a 1, and that'll be a 2, which makes this an 8. By Sudoku, this is now going to be an 8. And if we look at the last one, can't use 1, can't use 2, so that's either a 4, 8, or a 3, 6. Pardon me, hopefully that wasn't incredibly loud. Um, so 4, 8 would go like this, or 3, 6 could go either way around. And now we have one more black dot here. Um, this cannot use a 3, 6 because there are 6s in both of these regions. So this is again going to be some combination of 1s, 2s, 4s, and 8s. That can't be a 4 or an 8 by Sudoku, and that cannot be a 2, which means this can't be a 1. So that's definitely a 2. That being a 2 makes this cell an 8, and this could still be either a 1 or a 4 at this point. So in order to further disambiguate these circles, we are going to have to do a bit of Sudoku. So let's go ahead and do some Sudoku in our Sudoku puzzle, shall we? These are from 1, 6, 7, and 9, and we already know that the 6 was up there. So that's either a 1 or a 9. Uh, the 4 in this row can only go there, and that's also either a 1 or 9. Oh, I just noticed this 8 is keeping this from being an 8, so this is actually definitely a 3-6 pair. And now I can't have 8 here because of that 8, and I can't have 8s here because of this 8, so that's going to be an 8. So the remainder of this row will be 4, 7, and not 9, 5. No 4 there. So this becomes a 4, which makes that a 1. These two digits are going to be 6 and 9. These two digits are 1 and 9, which resolves that into a 6 and a 9. These are 3, 4, 5, and 9, and I can't place a 9 in those cells. I can't place a 4 in these cells or a 9 here. The 9 definitely goes right there by Sudoku, which resolves that. And this, I can eliminate 1 and 7 from these cells. The 6-9 pair there makes that a 1 and a 9. That's now going to be a 1 and a 2. That's going to be a 7. Okay, I have a 3-5 here, so that's going to be my 4, which tells me that that's definitely a 3-6 pair. So I know now the identity of that pair. And to finish this row, I need a 7 and a 2, which resolves the 5-7 pair. These guys are going to be 4 and 6. 2 and 5 will finish off this region, finish this row with a 1, which resolves the 1, 2 there that I had ambiguous. Okay, and now 6 and 3. I probably could have gotten that 3 about a million years ago. And these are going to be 5 and 7, order still unknown. The order of this is known now that I've placed a 9 below it. Those aren't 5 or 8, so those aren't 6 or 7. And we just do a touch of Sudoku to finish up. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's Don't Come Around Here No More. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. The link to check it out yourself is in the description of this video. And I will see you again soon.